Thank you so much. Uh, right now, 72,000 customers are still without power, the bulk of them in Cook, Lake, and McHenry counties. But the numbers are going down quickly as workers race to restore service. Past two days of storms have knocked out power lines across the area, and ComEd says their crews are responding as quickly as they can. NBC 5's Chris Hush joining us now with more on how people are coping and cleaning up with all the damage there. Chris? Right. And you know what? It's not just the storm damage that we're dealing with today. It's this heat that these crews have to clean it up. And before we get hit again later on tonight behind me, just a snapshot of what our entire region has been dealing with all week here. You can see that tree is currently being cleaned up, but that was a huge elm tree that came down that we showed you earlier today here in Evanston. And now get ready for a second round of storms of the day. Day three of severe weather across Illinois. Torrential rain and strong winds downing trees from Naperville to Evanston. Crushing cars and buckling sidewalks. These are hard conditions that our crews are working under and I really feel for them. We are a tree loving city um, and we do have many old beautiful trees. In Mount Prospect, high winds snapped this tree in half. Homeowners in Morton Grove assessing the damage after trees came down on homes all across Chicago. A double punch of storms last night and then this morning brought down 1,000 trees, according to OEMC. Street sanitation has been on top of it all day. They've whittled that uh, number down to uh, about 500 at this time. As thousands remained in the dark across the city this afternoon, Chicago's Office of Emergency Management now preparing for yet another wave of storms later this evening. We'll be working with National Weather Service uh, all night. We definitely need volunteers. The American Red Cross of Illinois calling for more help after assisting 107 residents in just one week due to severe storms and fires. We are definitely seeing the impact of it. Just last night we had some roofs collapse in the area and we were we were able to respond and make sure that the many families affected had a place to go. A busy week for sure for a lot of crews here. We should mention that the city of Chicago is currently operating six cooling centers right now. Uh, they are operating at normal hours, so that's nine to five o'clock. That could be adjusted should the need arise. Thankfully, though, we can report tonight that there haven't been any injuries, any serious injuries reported despite all of this damage. We're live in Evanston. I'm Chris Hosh, NBC5.